Hello everybody, you're here with Claro Beauty with your host Claudia Lara and today is going to be an episode of fragrance and you know how much I enjoy doing this ones and especially now because I've been loving, loving, loving the house of Gucci uh, fragrances. They're more in the niche of scale um, part or side of their fragrances, but I just been enjoying them all and I'm going to continue to do one by one and then uh, give you my favorites. So if you're interested of how I experience uh, this fragrance and how I describe it for whom or for where, uh, this is, um, in my opinion, up for, then keep on watching. So if you've been with me watching these episodes, um, you know, this is my first time smelling it. Uh, so it is first impression. And you know, with some fragrances, you do have to build a relationship through time or at least through the day to see how it changes, how it works with your chemistry and your body, etc. Uh, but these are first impressions. And, uh, and then as we talk, it transforms a little bit. So we'll see. So the first part I read from this website fragrance very, really quick, just because I like that frame of reference because all the fragrances go to this website. So it gives me, um, you know, a frame of reference and I go to the Gucci website. Very little do I read, but it's important to know what ingredients it has because sometimes my nose doesn't recognize them and perhaps will help you, uh, you know, imagine a little bit more what the fragrance is like. Although I have to say, uh, it will be very hard to, because a mixture of ingredients make a very unique essence, right? So, well, I'll do my best. So, at least I have a lot of fun. So I hope you have fun with me. I do see images as I smell things and that's, that's what I describe. So the first thing, and I have to mention it, of course, I don't have the bottle, I order samples, but um, the bottle of this particular fragrance, which I haven't even said the name. Okay, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. Uh, is a very beautiful blue. I don't think I've seen any other bottle in the Gucci bottles, because there's many fragrances. These are sort of new. And uh, that is this beautiful blue. It's, uh, what would you say, royal blue, indigo blue, but a little lighter, I don't know. But it, then it has a golden top. It's just gorgeous. And, uh, and then it has a rose and kind of a heart with gold. And so uh, you can see it in the flyer of the video. I put a picture there, so. <laughs> so the name of the fragrance we're gonna be doing today is called A Song for the Rose, El de Perfume Gucci and it is uh, described for women and for men. So right out the bat, you know I love white flower or white floral fragrances. The fact that this is a rose, I'm already preparing myself. Uh, but so far what I've smelled of the House of Gucci in this line, they are all very understated, even though they do have a presence of their own. So I like that, we'll see. Uh, how this fragrance works. So without further ado, let me just spray it, right? So I can start, you can also see how it affects me even in my rambling or in my talking. <laughs> if it makes me a little more imaginary or a little more logic, a little more, you know, you also see more professional. So let's spray it. I'm excited about this actually. Ooh, this spray is good, spray quite a lot. Oh, it already, I haven't even brought my nose to my hand. Love it. The whole room just is like I open a bouquet of roses, not just a small little bouquet. No, like a big bouquet of roses. And my mind immediately saw the bouquet. So it's already making my imaginary mind to open up. And this is one of the parts I love about white florals. I always feel that they open up. They, they prepare you to be welcoming. That's why I like it when you're gonna go out and, and, and meet with people or do something social or something with nature because it really opens you up, you know, to receive, which is beautiful. Oh my God, oh my God. This might be one of my favorites. Well, I don't wanna say yet, this is the first. Remember, it starts transforming, it starts changing, but 
so beautiful, elegant. I wouldn't say subtle because I immediately smell it, but if I compare it to other rose fragrances, you know, um, you know, of course, Atomic Rose from Initio. I always have to mention that one because they're explosive and invasive and in your face, but you can never forget them. Uh, this is nothing like that. This one is a little more subtle because the other one has like a, a very, you know, distinct kind of close, mm, like if you went to the actual essence of the rose, this one is a little more open a little more understated. It is, reminds me of a bouquet of flowers. Wow, this is lovely. It also reminds me, of course, it doesn't smell at all like it, but if you have uh, the gardenia from Chanel as exclusives, you know how the gardenia is very predominant, clear, but understated, but beautiful and inviting and, uh, and innocent and clean uh, and yet, like I just said, precision to the gardenia smell. This reminds me of that, but on the rose. So imagine that it's just, oh my God, it's just gorgeous. It's almost, if you didn't want to use it just as a perfume, but just like a, um, a fragrance throughout your house, or if you're in your pajamas and in a nice, you know, light and just all around, but you want to smell like roses. My goodness, this is gorgeous, but can also be, you know, it's not just like a lotion, like a spray. It, it has substantial where you could use it as a perfume. Oh, this is lovely. So the main, of course, uh, according to Fragantica is rose, musky, woody, floral, powdery. I guess, I mean, I don't know where the musky is. Maybe that's what is giving the elegance. It's almost elegance, but in some sort of royal, older time sort of thing. That's what it reminds me uh, without making it old and the powdery. I mean, I guess that's, I don't know if you heard me before in other videos, I always say in order for me to recognize the powdery, I go to Chanel number five. I remember how that smells and I'm like, that's powdery. Okay. Mm, I think all the way to the end, I might get the powdery and maybe that's what it makes it part of, uh, of your skin, of your beingness. It, it reminds me of uh, older times. I don't know. They had this cylinder full of talk women used to like powder themselves with it. Of course, now talk is terrible and everything, but that talk had a little bit of scent and and that was luxury and that was elegance. And, uh, and women did it before going to bed or, you know, to go out to look a little more wider or just like today, we do a little more powdery for the skin to look nicer. So this, I guess that reminds me of those times of that elegance of that it, it, it automatically comes to my mind you know the the silver heavy brushes where a woman in front of her vanity before going to bed brushing her hair with the silver beautiful uh mirror sort of like that so elegance or uh, uh that kind of woman with a silk gown uh I don't know why I keep going for pajamas and night, maybe because here is night right now and it's late, but, uh, but no, I think it's more of, of a way of describing that sort of woman. Uh, of course a man can wear this fragrance to me is roses. It will be very feminine. Um, so, like, I, I don't imagine my husband wearing this fragrance uh, as a male, uh, but I do imagine men wearing feminine fragrances. This is a feminine fragrance in my view. All right, so uh, it says, uh, the song for the roses of the perfume by Gucci is a floral woody musk fragrance for women and men, which I had said. This is a new fragrance, uh, was launched in 2019. Holy moly, I wonder if it was right before the the whole pandemic. 219. Um, so that's very new. Love it. Wow, I'm sure it's gonna pick up quick. 
Uh, the nose behind this fragrance is Alberto Morillas. And here I see him. He's a, um, yeah, great. I don't know. Maybe I, he seems familiar because of the other Gucci fragrances that I have smelled, perhaps. So going into the Gucci website, uh, it, it is, I prefer when they have a short and easy poetic sort of description. I think it's important that they do have a description because I think the intention behind a fragrance matters and the history and how it came about, etc. So I'm not going to read you this, this um, uh, whole thing, but I'll read a couple of uh, sentences. For example, an expression of absolute femininity. See, of course, femininity. So they say for men and for women. I think they're just generalizing that for every fragrance. I prefer when they say for female or male. Anyhow, an expression of absolute femininity, Bulgarian rose extract, is captured in its purest form just before it's harvested in the field, blended with sweet musk and strong wood notes. Well, we knew that, right? Accentuate this fragrance by layering with a perfume oils and Ake Profumate from the collection to create a personalized blend. Oh yeah, so Guzzi does recommend because there's like, I don't know, eight or 12 uh, fragrances. They're big bottles. They're not inexpensive, but uh, so they recommend because they're so in the purest form that you can blend them and then create your own signature fragrance. I haven't even gone that far. Right now, I'm just trying to get to know each individually. Uh, and I think this is the second one I tried, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, so what else I can tell you? A delicate pink rose decorates the bottle, part of the alchemist. All right, so that's about it. Uh, they don't give you an image, a picture, nothing other than that beautiful blue uh, bottle that I described. Well, with gold. So... What's my experience of it? Well, you already heard me that I love uh, the very distinct white floral rose smell. It's just clean, it's just uh, easy. I prefer the, so far, of the fragrances, the ones that don't have many ingredients. This one seems to, to go there, you know, and obviously the rose is predominant. So if you were to mix it with anything else, I think you would have to accept that the rose will still be the primary because it's so in your face uh, and not in an invasive way, but in a very clear statement way, <laughs> if you know what I mean. I don't think this one, even though when I spray it, you know that I hadn't even put my hand towards me and I could smell it. So it does sort of open up and linger around. So if you were to wear it as a perfume, I think if you walk by somebody, they they will catch a little bit of it. However, I don't think it's one of those that you can ignore it, that is so strong that you're just like, please, can you just get out? Or, you know, if you're in a date and you get in a car, you're like, please, can we open the windows? It doesn't, it doesn't have that effect of too much maybe because of the elegance of it. Um, now, because it's the floral, it might get uh, in the palate like too much, you know, when, when you have too much sugar, you get like, uh, after a while, at the beginning you eat it and you're like, mm, delicious. And then after you had several spoons, you're like, oh, you know, I'm not talking directly sugar, but you know what I mean, something sweet. I think this one, without going to the idea that it's sweet, but it is a little tiny bit towards the end, it's white floral, right? Um, I do get that that thing that after a while, it might overload the smell of the fragrance. So I will have to try it a full day to see if by the end of the day, I need a rest. Because that happened to me with, there's a, um, Jo Malone or a Tom Ford, it's a square bottle. Mm, I'm gonna have to, to check what I'm talking about, but it is also about roses. And I remember when I first smelled it, I was in love with it, just like I was in love with this one. But now 
uh, it's very rare that I go and reach that bottle. I actually have the full bottle. That's how much I loved it at the beginning because it's too much. And so I love it for one second, but then that's it. Wearing it all day or spraying it in a room, uh, it, it just becomes too much. I don't know about this one, but I feel it might get to that point where you love the smell, you love it for a little bit, but for a whole day might be a little too much. Perhaps blending it. Nowadays, uh, the whole thing, or at least I'm into it, or I don't know if it's a trend, but blending anything with leather fragrance makes it all wonderful because it gives the groundness kind of the antiqueness and with the white flower, floral, the openness and femininity and sweetness and, and everything that white floral does. So, mm, I still love it. Uh, it is, I wouldn't say the rose is subduing a little bit. I don't think the rose will ever get in second, you know, in second gear. I think it's always going to be first and it's not dissipating like uh it is coming down but it's still i mean is there like straight on like no dismissal like it's not coming down and in, that's after i already got used to it so intense and if you notice i keep talking about it there's some kind of a focus effect and intensity and obsession because it's almost like a love-hate relationship. I'm already starting to notice. You like it, but it is too much, but it's not. And this is in the understated sort of elegant way, but it's still, wow. So uh, to wrap it up, if you like rose and you like that, I guess they call it absolute, but if you like very distinct uh, rose smell, a bouquet of roses, this is amazing. This is so nice. This is so perfect. Uh, I have to say between buying the Gardenia from Less Exclusive Chanel and this, ooh, I might still prefer Gardenians uh, for during the day, for every day. I think it will tire me less in that kind of too much uh, all day long. However, this one, for that elegance, cleanness. Again, I mentioned it for pajamas in elegance, silk, sheets. Uh, obviously not only for night, but in those days, I feel this one is a little more romantic in the sense of seducting without being in the seduction sort of, you know, affair, but in a very feminine sort of way. Um, like if you're meeting a gentleman, uh, and and you want him to remember you by this fragrance, I think this would do that trick. They would always remember you by this fragrance. He has that kind of a statement and that kind of a presence. And so if he's once here and there, I think it will be very enjoyable. And for that, I will wear it when I would like to make a, a that kind of a statement. Um, I will wear it uh, for a luncheon, for a female luncheon, for uh, mostly I see myself in the morning if I'm going to be running errands or up the way to lunch. You could wear this in the evening or night or you're going to wear this all the time, but I don't think uh, this puts me in a mood to go for a nice dinner or a very formal made up sort of uh, dinner going out. Um, so I do see this a little more elegant, uh, during the, but elegant, you can run errands and do a casual day, of course, but I see it more in that elegance, distinctive, um, sort of pasting yourself, sort of making a presence, um, sort of way. So it's beautiful. Um, yeah, I also see for traveling. You know, uh, absolutely. Imagine having somebody next to you in an airplane with this scent. Oh, you'll be like, oh, thank goodness you sat next to me. That's so lovely because it brightens 
and changes the mood and opens up and it's just this elegant uh, fresco uh, sort of fresco what do you say fresco in english um uh, you know crisp uh sort of ambient so in a in a leading sort of way uh you know the woman of the house the beautiful woman of the house uh yeah i immediately saw you know those big staircase elegant with a big painting of a woman and the woman wearing this yes that kind of distinct um smell royal smell um i wouldn't go majestic uh, but elegant, uh, yeah. So, yeah, of course, I wish I, I wish I had this in my collection. Yes, yes, yes. Would I be buying it? Not anytime soon, but perhaps I put it on my list because it's just gorgeous. To wrap up, I think what Gucci's doing is very interesting, and I'm all for it. I don't see many other houses doing it. Uh, this think of making... Um, the fragrances very much for mixing and matching. They're understated but distinct in good quality and in a bigger amount. So I like it. I like it a lot. I mean, if I could have the whole collection, yes, of course. But uh, <laughs> then it'll take me a lifetime to go through them because they're big bottles. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't wear that much, like so much. But love it love it love it for a gift ooh, for an elegant woman gift ooh, for a boss you know it's it's amazing it's in the expensive side but uh oh my god it's way worth it all right we're gonna wrap it up with that i hope you like it i hope it was useful and um, i hope you try it if you have tried it please uh write down below make any comments and I really appreciate you listening to all of this. <laughs> and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do at this moment. Please ring the bell, thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.